go to the next part. We need to check the place value. Okay, over here we have thousand, hundreds, tens, and ones. So this five stands for five ones. The value of five ones is just five. Okay, seven tens over here. So the seven is on the place value of tens, but the value is seventy. Get it? I repeat, place value is showing you the position of the number. 7 is the digit, the digit on the place value. But 70 is the value of that digit in that place value. Because 7 in the tens, so the value of 7 is 70. Next, 4. 4 is on the hundreds place value. But the value of 4 is 400. Get it? Next, 2 is on the place of 1000. So the value of 2 is 2000. Because we have this digit on each place value. So we get the number is 2475. I repeat. The digit is the number in the place value. Thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones is the place. But the 2000 is the value of 2 in the thousands. 400 is the value of 4 in the hundreds. 70 is the value of 7 in the tens. And 5 is the value of 5 in the ones. Next. Let's check this one. How many boxes are there? Let's check the thousand. How many thousand do you see here? You just have one. How many hundreds do you see here? Let's count. One, two, three. We have three. How many tens over here? We just have two. And how many ones over here? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine. So, we write down here, the digit for the thousand is 1 in the thousand place value. The digit for the hundreds is 3. The digit for the tens is 2. And the digit for the ones is 9. Now, let's change them on the value. 1,000, so the value is 1,000 with 3, 0. 300, so the value is 3 with 2, 0. 300. 2 tens means the value is 2, 0 or 20. And then the 9 ones is just 9. So, question C, in. 1,329, the digit in the is blah 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 is in the thousands place. What digit in the thousands place? Yes, it's 1. And then, it stands for 1,000. Okay, but the value is, don't forget, you have to put the number. 1,000 with 30. Okay, now question A. 3A. In 2,548, what is the number, the digit in the hundreds place? Remember, this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. So the hundreds is 5. So the digit 4 stands for 4. What is the place? Tens, very good. Next, how about the the value of the digit eight? Eight is in what place value, guys? It's one because it's ones, so the value is only eight. Get it? Okay. Oh, there is a good question here. In 2,562, the values of the digit 2 are, okay, even though in this number there are two same digits, that doesn't mean both of them have the same value, okay? 
Over here, the place is ones. Over here is tens. Over here is hundreds. Over here is thousand. Because these two in the ones, so the value is only two. Get it? But because this two is in the place of thousand, so the value is two with three zero, two thousand. Next, how many cubes are there? Oh, you can see it directly. Now, let's go to this one. Find the values. 5,310 and 6. Make, oh, you just put the number directly, guys. 5,300. On the tens, you have 1. And then on the ones, you have 6. Get it? Next, 7,280 and 9. So, you just write down 7 on the thousand, 2 on the hundreds. 8 on the tens and 9 on the ones. Next, question C. 3000 plus 100 plus 70 plus 5. So on the thousand you write down 3. On the hundreds you write down 1. On the tens, 7. On the ones, 5. Okay, let's go to the next one. What is the value of each digit? Okay, let's write down, remember the value, okay? The value means you have to write down the number with the zero, okay? This two is on the ones. Ones, the number on the ones is not followed by zero, so you just write down the number itself. So you get two. This six is on the tens. Tens is followed by one zero, so you have six and one zero, so you get 60. And then nine is on the hundreds place so nine is uh, the hundreds place is followed by two zero you get two over here next five this five is on the thousands place so you write down five followed by three zero one two three is it clear next question b in six thousand nine hundred twenty five the digit blah 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 is in the thousands place let's check over here is ones right over here, tens, here, hundreds, here, thousands. So the digits in the thousand is? Yes, it's six. Next, the digit nine stands for nine is on the what place for you guys? Yes, hundreds. So you get nine hundreds here. Okay, next. The value of the digit 2. 2 is on the tens place value. Tens is followed by 1, 0. So you write down 2 followed by 1, 0. So you get 20. Okay, let's go to question number 7. Blah, blah, blah. And 360 and 1 make 4,361. Oh, this is easy. What number that you haven't found here? Yes, it's 4. But what is the value of 4 over here? It's thousands, right? So 4,000. Very good. Next, 6,720 is 6,700. And, of course, the rest. What is that? 20. Very good. Next, 5,000 and blah, 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 and 5 is 5,805. Oh. We have 5,000 here, we have 5 here. What number that you haven't found here? 8, right? But you have to check 8 is in the uh, place value of hundreds. So it means 8 is followed by 2 zero. So the value is 800. Next question D. 7,408 make, of course, let's just put it together. On the 1,000 we have 7. On the 100 we have 4. Do you find numbers for the tens? No, right? So you write down zero, and the number for the ones is eight. Okay, next number eight. Find the missing number. Three thousands plus nine hundred plus ten plus five. So you get three for the thousand, nine for the hundreds, one for the tens, five for the ones. How about this? What number is missing? You have 3, you have 2, you have 4, over here also 3, 2, 4, oh, there's 1. But the value of 1 is, yes, a 
thousand. Very good. It's a thousand. Okay, next. Question C. Seven thousand six hundred and ten. You have seven thousand here. You have ten here. The number that is missing is? Yes, six hundred. Very good. Next question D. Four thousand and fifty. Oh, it's a trap, guys. Be careful, okay? So, you need to write down the number on the thousand first. What number is it? Yes, it's four. Do you find the number in the hundreds? No. So, you write down zero, right? And then, the number on the tens is five. The number on the ones is zero. So, this is the correct number. Next. Oh, another trap. What is that? Eight plus five hundred plus nine thousand. Oh, be careful, guys. So, what should you write down first? Do you need to write down 8 first? But it's wrong. It's supposed to be 9. Why 9? Because 9 is a 1000. Next, do you find hundreds? Yes. It's 500. So you write down 5. Do you find tens? No. So you write down 0. And then the number on the ones is 8. So this is the correct number. Okay, the next one. We need to go to the comparing one, right? So, you have to remember the symbol of this one it means greater than and then the other part, the, the other symbol, it means less than. Okay, so you have to check, the, you have to read first. Uh, this is, the symbol means smaller than and then, okay, and then we go to the next part, this one. Okay, you have 6,829 and 6,870. Let's go back to this part. Okay, how do we compare a number? If you want to compare a number, you have to check it according to its place of value. For example, over here we have set A and set B. Set, set A is 2,820, set B is 2,356. What does it mean? You have to put each digit in their place value first that okay after that we need to compare it from the biggest place value or the biggest value first we need to compare it from the thousand because the digit is the same so it means you cannot compare it from here right? two and two it's the same so we move to the smaller value it's hundreds. On the hundreds, you will see that set A has 8. And then set B has 3. 8 and 3. Which one is bigger? Of course, it's 8. So over here, you will find out that set A is bigger than set B. In another way, 2820 is bigger than 2356. But if you want to describe it from the smaller one, it's going to be like this. 2,356 is smaller than 2,820. Do you guys understand? Okay. To make you understand, let's check the next page on page 22. Which is greater? Which, one, which is smaller? Use greater than or smaller than. So we have two numbers here, 2,707 and 978. You need to put each digit on the place value. Over here we have the 1,000, but an, another number, there is no 1,000. Of course, because on this value, the 2,707 has two thousands. On 978, there is no thousands. So we can conclude that... 2,707 is greater than 978. I'm going to put it here. Okay, how about question B? 4,058 4, is blah, blah, blah. 4,610. Let's check the number in the biggest value first. In the thousands, we have 4 over here. Oh, over here there is 4. So we cannot compare it by that side. So we go to the hundreds. In this number, the hundreds is 0. But this number has 6. 
on the hundreds. It means this number is bigger than the first number. So, if you want to write down it like this, so it's gonna be 4058 is smaller than 4610. Okay, now let's use the symbol. Remember this symbol, the first symbol means greater than, the second symbol means smaller than. Now look at question A. 3135 and 3181. If you check the thousand, the digit is the same. You check the hundreds, the digit is the same. But if you check the tens, oh, it's different. It's three over here, it's eight over here. So the biggest one is 3181. The symbol is showing you the condition in the first number. Because the second number is bigger, so the first number is smaller, right? So we write down 3135 is smaller than 3181. I repeat, this symbol is showing you the condition of the first number. Because the first number is smaller, you put this symbol. The symbol means smaller than. If the first number is bigger, you put bigger than. Okay, let's go to question B. 6,289 compared with 6,280. Let's check the thousand. The digits are the same. Let's check the hundreds. Again, it's the same. Let's check the tens. Oh, it's still the same. But if you check the ones, it's different. The first number is bigger than the second one. So, the first number, because it's bigger, the symbol that you put is bigger than. This symbol, if you want to know in the words, it's, the meaning is 6,289 is bigger than 6,280. Okay, now let's go to question number 7. Compare, which is the smallest, which is the greatest. Now let's check. If you check, the number on the hundred, sorry, the thousands are the same, right? 444. Four, four. Now, let's check the number in the, uh, in the hundreds. 7, 8, 7. Oh, we get the greatest here. Why? Because this, the second number has bigger or biggest number on the tens. So you write down over here, 4,802. Now, we still have two more numbers, 4,769 and 4,738. So let's compare it. We cannot compare the hundred, so you start to compare with the tens. Over here, the first number has six. The two number has three. Oh my god, we get the smallest one. So the smallest one is 4,738. Well, it's a long explanation and I hope you can understand it. I think that's it for today. Thank you so much, guys.